Hey everyone, this is Nick with Us vs. Herd. Today we're going to go over the Robinhood web application. Um, by now, as you can, as you probably know, if you have Robinhood, everyone has access to Robinhood web, and pretty much it's pretty much the same thing as the Robinhood app. You know, they didn't really add too many new features. Like the charts, pretty much the same. I wish they added some different charting features, and I wish they added some more things like that. Just so so I have, just so you can have some more tools and stuff but that being said you know we're gonna we're gonna dive right into it um, this is a live account this is my Robinhood account that I just been you know this is not an active day trading account it's just an account I use to buy stocks and hold for a long time and as you can see here Robinhood they show your account portfolio um, one nice thing they have here is the top movers for the day um, what this what this means here is the the um, Analysts agree that Microsoft is a buy, so they put the. Oops, didn't mean to go there. What they do here is they they added the analyst ratings to the stocks themselves, which is pretty cool. You have your stocks here. I have a uh, cryptocurrency watch list on here. I don't currently have access to trading crypto on here, but you can you can look at it on here and you can add new things to your watch list here. Um, these are the stocks that I own, and this is my actual watch list over here. And then you can add stuff or whatever you want to do here. You can change the price, see what the current price is, what the percentage was today. So pretty much all the things that you can do on the Robinhood app, you can do on Robinhood web here as well. You know, they have the um, how much equity, what the changes today. Um, another cool thing that they have on the on the homepage though is they have the recent news, which is kind of nice. It might give you some trade ideas, maybe maybe not. You know, so, sometimes the news has some good things in there, sometimes not, but. You know, it's kind of nice if there's a if there's a stock that you're trading on here. Let's say you were trading um, Tesla or Verizon or anything like that. Um, they put they put the stock right here that uh, it has to do with. So that's pretty nice. Um, to give you some other overviews, I have this notification tab. Shows you what happened last. So it says I bought 20 shares of Snap. So I just made this purchase the other day. Um, as you can see, if you're familiar with Robinhood, the charting is the exact same. And it's um, not loading. Let's hit, re let's hit refresh here. Running a little slow. Market's about to close too, and today is a very high volume day. Um, you know, quite a beating this week as the market dropped here on the, on the one week but our one our one month chart we're up one percent we were up a lot more our three months chart looking a lot better up 18 percent as you can see here we were up at 27 percent at one point and then took a massive dip here and then the one year you know we're in an extremely bull market right now even with these dips like the dip we had in february you know it was up 35 percent then it went down 27 percent and then ripped higher you know so you know don't be afraid to hold stocks but um this video is not really about stock trading it's more about what's new in robin hood here um one cool thing i really like the search bar here um let's say i want to look up um nike give you some good examples here and how this is and it looks a lot like robin hood um the interesting thing here is they categorize these by collections here and Robinhood categorizes these like the 100 most popular. This is popular on Robinhood between the users, and it'll show you here. It's saying 14,000 people own Nike on Robinhood. Um, so uh, Robinhood on here is giving you access to more of their data, which is kind of interesting. So they're actually showing you who holds what on Robinhood. Do a lot of people hold Nike? Do they hold other stocks? And I can kind of show you, um, you know, how that breaks out in a little bit here. But they added collections which kind of like a tag if you're familiar with tags or like hashtags kind of categorizes it and then you can actually dive into these these collections and get up get um, stock ideas if, if you like Nike or you want to see who their competitors are if you're interested in investing in maybe like a smaller brand versus Nike because I think Mikey ha yeah Nike has a hundred billion market cap which is pretty large if you're looking for some smaller ones we'll, we'll dive into that um, you know they show you what the average price people paid on Robinhood 
So there's some interesting data here if you dive into if there's certain stocks that you hold. So they'll tell you what the average price is. And right now, they're saying the average price people paid on Robinhood is 58 bucks, And right now, it's 12% higher. Um, it gives you the analyst ratings. And then it sh shows you earnings. And you can actually play the... Uh, you can, they actually link to the earnings call. And this is actually... You know, a little bit more comprehensive than like Tastyworks or even TD Ameritrade. To dig, to get this information, you kind of really got to dig. And then it also shows you what people, other people bought on here. If they bought Nike, what other other stocks they were interested in. So that way, may, maybe you're interested in buying some other things too. The one thing I don't like here is that they always put the, um, they make the, uh, the buy the buy box right here but they automatically put it as market price and they did the same thing on the app too. Um, you could change that to a limit order. Um, mainly I don't like to do market price because you could really get screwed on that. Um, you know, if you're purchasing one share, you're not gonna, it's not gonna really matter, but if you're purchasing 100 shares, 200 shares, you know, the limit price is really what you want, saying you don't wanna pay any more than what, what you type into this box. If you do a market price, you, it, the, um, you put it in their hands to fill the order. So maybe some will get or filled at 1694, a 65.94, maybe someone will get 66, maybe someone gets, you know, 60, 66.20. You know, you don't want to put it, like, when it, when it comes to the market, you don't want to put it into their hands. Um, so let's say, um, you know, the market order shows you, um, it did it did say here before I touched all this how much my buying power uh, was here. Then you can add it to the watch list or remove it to the watch list down here. Um, but the most, one of the most interesting thing here is the collections. And the market just closed, and like usual, it uh, turns to black. Um, but let's go here to the 100, 100 most popular. Now, this is the 100 most popular on Robinhood. Um, what I like about this is it really it really shows you who's trading what or who's buying what on here and what you know what we're buying. Um, you know the popularity, how many people own that, analyst ratings, market cap. It's just kind of a really nice grid, and you can, you know, unlike on the app, you can actually customize it. So if you want to say, hey, I only, I only want to look at stocks above or between zero and 50, you can do that right here. And then it just it gives you access, and you can kind of play with this. It gives you access to, you know, what's going up, what's going down. You know, and you can select if it's trending up or the price change is trending up or trending down in the last week, month, five years. And you can separate large, mid cap, and small cap, and then you can get the analyst ratings if they're fifty percent or higher, forty nine percent or lower. So you can kind of figure out what you want to do there. And you can also let's go back to Nike for exit example and go back into some of these other collections. Let's say footwear. If you go to footwear, you can say okay, maybe you know the maybe Nike's too expensive for you, and, and but you want to buy another apparel brand, maybe you buy Under Armour. You know, six or seven billion market cap there. Today it went up six percent, almost. You know, pretty pretty crazy. Um, well, that's UAA. They have another one right down here, but they show you they show you. You know, it's kind of nice. They show you who the competitors are, who people are, who the other people are in the footwear or the apparel companies, and you can. And this this is a pretty extensive list. And the other thing is, you can search um, up in here too for. Let's say we're looking for some restaurant stocks. You can search the restaurant collection. Now, the one thing I wish they had is a whole list of their collections. They don't have on here an easy way to get the list of collections. You kind of have to search for or click on a stock that you want. Um, but I'm sure it's all, TripAdvisor came as a restaurant, but I'm sure it's categorized as some other stuff as well. Yeah, travel, business services, hotels. I mean, so if you're looking for travel stocks, you know, so basically, like once you click on a stock, you it, you can dive deep and you can keep going, and this keeps going and keeps going, and it it really shows you, you know, who's who's in this niche market here, and I think that's I think that's the power of the Robinhood app, and I think that they're going to add more stuff. Right now, you can't trade options on it. I know that they're going to be adding that to the web app, but right now you can mainly um, trade stocks. And I did I did purchase some shares of Snapchat last week to kind of test it out. It was pretty much the same thing as that as the web app. I mean that. I mean the application iOS or Android. Um, you know when you click on this, I'm down a little bit because I just put this position on. I bought this on. Um, let's see here, down in the history here, I bought it for sixteen thirty-seven. 
you know, the average people price people pay is eighteen dollars. So that's that's kind of nice to know that I paid less than what the average people have bought on Robinhood. And right now it's at sixteen twenty-five. So I'm I'm not very far off. I'm twelve cents away. So I purchased that the other day. And nice thing is you just go here. See it says your buying power down here. Say I want to sell. Say I want to sell five shares. I can go ahead and do that. Um, other thing is like for Tesla, I sold. It also keeps your history here. So I sold Tesla. I think it was at the end of last year. But it's kind of nice. It keeps your average price paid on Robinhood is 302, and it looks like not too many people on Robinhood to hold for that long. So. And um, I like that it keeps your history. It's kind of nice. So if like, you can look here, Tesla, I bought on February 12, 2016 for $150 a share. And then I sold it in November of 2017 for 314 So I made like 109% or so, but I held it. And so I turned 450 into 943 I took all that and I reinvested into Twitter. And you can see here, I think Twitter and Square I bought. You know, my average cost on Twitter is 19.15, currently trading at 31.90. And Twitter was kind of a one that I've held. The average people, price people bought was 26.98 on here. And it kind of tracks my buys here. So on May, I bought 10 shares. Then in September, I bought another 10 shares. Then in December, I bought another 10 shares. So I think my Tesla, I also bought Square as well. Square's up big too, but. You know, kind of get, gets you a feel for you know how your how your account set up here, and also tracks your buys and in history on, on what you buy and sell. Um, if you go to the account tab here, and go to summary, this is kind of nice. It shows you a high level overview of where your stocks are currently at. So it's saying Square's thirty percent of my portfolio. I'm up three ninety eight on it. It's current price here, so it really gives you a bird's eye view of where your portfolio is right now. Twitter, I'm up 27%, was up a lot more before the crash, but, but you know it is what it is. Twitter fell like 10% one day um, last week, but um, Facebook fell a lot too because of their whole scandal. But it's making up 22% of my portfolio. Target makes up 9%, and then. And then Snap makes up nine, nine percent as well. So this this percentage here is how much is of your portfolio, twenty seven percent. It's not about how much you currently are up. If you go to Twitter, it says I'm up sixty six percent. See, right down here. So this shows you where your portfolio is diversified. So it says that Twitter twenty seven percent of my portfolio, Square is thirty percent, Facebook is twenty two. And so on. Target and Snap are about nine percent each. Also keeps track of your day trades, with does, which you can look on the app. But I like this this bird's eye view of, of where of where you're at here in terms of your entire entire portfolio. So um, the other interesting thing is on the on the homepage is the top movers, and this changes every day. This this shows you what stocks move the most that day, and today was a big up day because we had a lot of selling last week. So Today's a bit, you know, pretty crazy example for how much things have gone up. You know, Netflix went up six percent, Lowe's up six percent, Microsoft up seven. So today was not an ordinary day in in the market by any means, and we haven't had an ordinary week in a little while since the volatility's really kicked up. Anyways, but you know, I just want to give an over overview of the web app. If you're thinking about joining Robinhood, you know, it's definitely definitely something to look into. I mean, the free commissions are one thing, but I don't really trade a whole lot on here. I, I mainly use Thinkorswim and Tastyworks for my, my my active trading. On here, I just buy shares of stock and I hold it. As you can see, like Tesla, I was ahead for a year and a half. You know, these Facebook shares, you know, when did I buy these? My average cost is $88. You know, I bought it in September of 2015. So even with the scandal, it doesn't really even hurt me that much. Current price is at 159. I think it did touch, it went down to 150 today. And back up but you know this is mainly my buy and hold account and as you can see it's, it's been paying off so um, I definitely like the web interface also it's a lot easier to do these video tutorials because I don't have to plug my phone into my computer to show you guys 
I can pretty much just pull up this this page here, the web app, and, and go over everything. So um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you're interested in Robinhood, you know, definitely free commissions are worth it. I'm not sure how sustainable that is, but you know, for now, you gotta kind of ride with it. And that's why um, I don't really actively trade on here. It's just mainly buy and hold. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if this is the first time coming over here.